All right, everybody. It's a new week, and games are about to start as I record this video. So, you know, uh, the top 25 in college basketball is shooken up a little bit, not too much. We knew Kentucky was going to fall out after, after to just some abysmal performances. But, hey, we still got big-time matchups this week. Um, again, the Big East, the Big 12 battle started last week, or technically Sunday. I mean, but we go by Monday through Sunday in college basketball. That's how I do my videos and everything like that. But the Big 12, Big East battle, I don't really care for, you know, the whole, um, you know, conference supremacy thing. I think it's just kind of stupid, <laughs> to be completely honest. But... These are some big opportunities for teams to prove themselves against, you know, other teams in, 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 the, in these big conferences and everything like that. So the Big East, Big 12 battle, the main highlight here is Creighton, Kansas. That will be Tuesday. Um, there's only one ranked team in action right now, and that is Richmond. They will be in action at some point by the time this video goes up against Wofford. I'll talk about Richmond a little bit later on in this video, of course. But Creighton, Kansas, big time matchup. It'll be the first of three that day that are going to be highlighted. And you know, again, I wonder what Jalen Wilson can do. I mean, he's a he's a guy that can get inside and score at will. How will Creighton stop it? I think Creighton has to use their tempo. They got to use tempo against Kansas. And they gotta use their veteran core. They have a big veteran core. Creighton does. The Blue Jays do. And and Ryan Kalkbrenner, he's a freshman. Looks like he can get inside, score, and do a lot of things. Now here's the big thing: the ACC Big Ten Challenge. The real meat of this of this week is the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Of course, as we know. You know, these challenges and stuff have been organized by conferences to just get some get some good ass matchups on the docket and we have a couple of goodies on Tuesday night. Now, North Carolina, Iowa. Boy oh boy oh boy. I wonder how Luca Garza will dominate this game. Who is going to guard him? Who is going to get keep him contained? Will it be Garrison Brooks? Will it be someone of that young core that North Carolina has? They have to get inside, I think. North Carolina does. They have to get inside, and they have to keep it. They have to chip away at Iowa's defense. You know, you, know, you can't turn the ball over. You can't. You, you, you just can't do anything that would be, you know, considered to be a mistake around here. You gotta, you gotta keep it. We gotta keep it clean. Gotta keep it. You gotta keep it with Iowa. In order to beat them, so you know, and I was moved on up in the polls and stuff like that. So, meanwhile, Illinois, Duke, um, Illinois schedule has gotten a little bit of a boost thanks to Ohio. So maybe, maybe I was a little bit wrong about Ohio because Ohio is starting to win games and stuff like that. But anyway, Illinois, Duke. I think the key for Duke will be to get into the paint with with Mark Williams. You know. And, and as far as Illinois goes, I think Io Dawson has to wake up. If if Duke starts to guard him and make him a non-factor, then he's got to wake up and go ham on the Blue Devils. He's got to go ham on him because he's scoring at a breakneck speed, you know, 20 plus a game. Like maybe like I think it's like five or six assists or six or seven rebounds a game. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember the stat line, but hey, Illinois Duke gonna be a great game, you know. And somebody's just gonna have to step up for both these teams, you know. It has to be somebody, because I mean Illinois had a had a very very tough loss last week, and yeah, somebody's got to step up for Illinois. Conference play is coming, and speaking of conference play, it's already here. Pac-12 started last week. The Big 12, I know, starts this week. Big East starts this week. Uh, I don't know about the SEC. I don't think they do yet. But speaking of the SEC, Tennessee has a big matchup this week with Colorado. Um, 
yeah, yeah, I think that's it. I, I'm, I don't remember, but I think the Big 12 does start this week, so I'll, I'll talk about a big matchup later on down the line. And, and um, the Big East does start this week as well, I think. But anyway, that's not the point. Let's talk about Wednesday. Wednesday, going to also have two big matchups. Of course, there are some other games as well. I don't want to forget these in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Penn State, you know, Virginia Tech, Ohio State, ranked Ohio State against Notre Dame. Syracuse taking on a ranked Rutgers and Indiana taking on a ranked Florida State. Um, I don't have anything about these games right now, um, but I... Because I think uh, my attention will mostly be on these other four games, you know, with big time implications for Selection Sunday. But yeah, Louisville, Wisconsin, to start off Wednesday, is the first thing that we have to figure out is can Louisville conquer COVID? And a pissed off Wisconsin. Louisville is one of the teams that have been impacted by Corona Chan, and we all know she is fierce. Speaking of teams impacted by Corona Chan, poor UConn. I I know they just paused their basketball activities and stuff like that thanks to Corona. We all know Gonzaga won't be playing for two weeks, but it's good to get the the bad teams off their schedule anyway so we can get better matchups for them because they need better matchups. I I mean, come on. They're the number one team in the country. (laughs) Um, But, yeah. If this game gets played, I think Malik Williams needs to go off for Louisville. He's a center. He needs to go off for the Cardinal. And if things, you know, just go well for this game, hopefully it goes well. I'm expecting a heavy guard rotation. Brad Davis and Trevor Anderson for Wisconsin. And, you know, again, Wisconsin's a little pissed off after last week, you know, losing to Marquette off a tip in from a missed free throw, you know. So, this is going to be this is going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. And then the last matchup on Wednesday that really needs highlight against Michigan State, Virginia. Now, Virginia's defense is pretty good, but can they get past to get a veteran core for Michigan State? Uh, Rocket Watts and Aaron Henry, can they get a pass that core? Can they score enough points because Michigan State can score. They can score points. They can get inside. They can force a lot of turnovers. They can force you to make bad shots or rather to take bad shots. So it's going to be a matter of, you know, two good defenses and offenses that can score, but it might be a low-scoring affair, I think. Thursday night gives us an unexpected top 25 matchup. And it's San Diego State who has came into the top 25 and Arizona State who, of course, you know, they lost their first game of the season, but they bounced back pretty quick. And I got to say, George Shakel for San Diego State, the Aztecs, he looks pretty promising to me. Uh, looks like he needs to. He's, he's been having to improve on some areas. And San Diego State, in general, looks like a very good team for the Mountain West, and we all know about the Mountain West and how troublesome that conference could be with the whole 20-game schedule. I'll keep bringing this up uh, unless uh, unless somebody you know sounds off of the comments about it. About it, <laughs> I'll just keep making fun of the Mountain West and their 20-game schedule. So I think maybe potentially it's kind of dumb. Maybe just maybe it's kind of dumb, but. For Arizona State, also a heavy guard rotation that I seem to focus on. You know, Rebby Martin especially. He looks like a guy that can go do anything for the Sun Devils. Along with Alonzo Burge and and, and Jalen House, you know, as well. But yeah, Remy Martin looks like the guy that can, you know, do no wrong for the Sun Devils. And I think it'll be a good guard-on-guard matchup. You know, and both these teams I'll be seeing for the first time play, so we'll, we'll see what they do and everything like that as we go on through the week. And on Sunday, 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 of course, interfering with the NFL, of course, because we can't just have these games, you know, earlier in the week or something like that, is the Big 12 opening up conference play and stuff like that. 
with a big time matchup, Texas and Baylor. First things first is can the Horns catch the Baylor defense off guard? I don't know. I mean, this team shares the ball. We know Shaka Smart is finally getting, you know, the guys he wants in. And, you know, it's all about that. It's all about, you know, the ball control and the sharing and, and that making great shots when they need to be made. But can they catch this defense off guard? And can my Longhorns stop Jared Butler and any other guys that want to show up for Baylor? I don't know. I really don't, to be completely honest. But it should be fun. Uh, I mean, hopefully I'll see maybe the second half of this matchup. I'm not sure how it's going to work unless, you know, there's a couple blowouts in the NFL games on Sunday. But, yeah. The other big matchup on that Sunday is Richmond-West Virginia. Again, Richmond is starting to play right now. It's about 1 o'clock here. And they have probably already tipped off against Wofford. But, yeah, Richmond is going to have to face you know, Bob Huggins' tough defense and their big guys, especially Culver and Sheepway, you know. And I think this team for Richmond, they can score a lot of points. They can score, but focus on Blake Francis, a guard for the Spiders. You know, focus on him. He, he, look, he looks very promising to me. And there's, a, of course, there's other guys on Richmond as well, but I think this one, this dude, looks the most promising right now, and I think he may have what it takes to take down West Virginia. You know, Richmond's a very tough team. Very tough team. Very stingy team. They can play defense too. And it's it's gonna be fun. I don't know if I'll be able to see this matchup, but I know it's a big time matchup. Again, there's other big matchups throughout the week that have ranked teams going up against unranked teams and teams trying to get, you know, things together. But we don't know about, you know, Corona and everything like that. But hey, we, we can certainly try to get through this week. And I'll see you guys next Monday to talk, or rather next Sunday or Monday, to talk, you know, about this week. And then I'll you know, talk about the week that's coming up after, you know, this week, of course. So, see you in the next video very soon.